Hi there, I am Adam Kibas, and this is my story, Happy All Too Happy. My father promised me that he would take me one day to his working place, that I would see where he works, that I would understand more about him. <clears throat> But this never happened. He always used to say one day, one day it will happen and he would always be lost in thought like he was, like he was thinking about an idea to make it happen so that somehow, in some way, he could make his son to be proud of him. Some way he would find to get recognition for what he thought is shameful. I never expressed my thoughts to my father. I never said to him that I maybe think that you are lying. Later, when I found out that my dad was not working in an office and was just doing odd jobs, I heard people talking in the school that my father was blowing the moon was was clearing the entry i somehow was not surprised by it i thought it's normal i i didn't feel ashamed of it it was somehow his life and not mine i had some sort of a distance to the people i was around with like my mind and my brain has special borders which do not align with others which some sort of separate me from all others. My mother was never much present. I actually do not recall having her much around when during dinner my father would talk about his his working day in the office. She would sit there mute. She would not express anything. Like she knew it. Maybe she was disappointed. This was not the man she thought. This was not the man she, who promised her the world. I don't know. But she was mute. She was thoughtful and distant. I remember my mom as cold, as, as a woman who is not really interested in the world around her, who lives in her own world who has some sort of own own world where no one has entered to some day some days i would watch her would watch her lost in thoughts and she was away somewhere beyond where we could not catch her where we could not make sense of her she was away she was not part of us she wasn't part of the conversation she was not part of our family she had an affair with a guy i met him once when he came out of the toilet he was wearing my dad's morning gown it was an awkward moment we looked at each other i knew but he was nice, polite, he just greeted me, hey buddy, I don't know who this man was, I had never seen him outside and I would never see him outside of our home, I didn't know where he came from, came from. but whenever my dad was gone, my mom would have sex with this guy, And she would mourn, she would mourn real loud, and while she would mourn, she would yell his name. His name was Steve, that's how I found out about him. Steve, that's all I knew about him, and that he was wearing my dad's mourning gown. Steve came to our home quite often, and my mom did not much care about concealing it. 
She was some sort of like she wanted to be caught, like she did not care about it anymore, like someone who has lost all faith in life, like someone who does not care anymore. She did not, my mom did not have the, had the willingness to conceal it, not even for my, from me, she, she would just come over and say to me that your dad came by for lunch. She knew, of course, that I knew that, that, that this man was not my dad. She knew that, that I, that I saw her. One day I even walked in on them, like the, when they had sex in their kitchen. She did not stop. She just looked at me and said, wait outside. She did not care. Sometimes I would think that I have to do something. Some, there were, of course, some moments when I thought that this must be very hurtful. When I assumed what it would be like when I would be my dad, what it would be like if someone would betray on me, how devastating I was. And I still imagine my dad working his ass off, my dad, this man who tries everything to please everyone, who tries everything to, to, to be the superhero. I imagine what it would be like if he found out, of course, I anticipated that he did not know, of course, I knew. I knew that his world would broke apart, yet my parents did never separate. Whenever my dad would come home, he would kiss her lips, the very lips she had, the, the, the penis of, of Steve inside her mouth, the very lips she kissed another man, the very lips which tell him that she would love him but were a lie. He thought highly about her, he thought about her, that she was her world, he wanted to accomplish something for her, something for us, the ideal life, I don't know, maybe he suspected something. One day Steve had forgotten his shoes in our home, I don't know how this happened, he, he probably brought in two, two pairs of shoes. I don't know whether my dad always became suspicious when he found Asse Soros of Steve. Did he, did he assume something like that? Did he grow suspicious? Did his trust wane? At least no one could see that. At least I did not. I didn't see it. He still came home like the loving father. He still kissed my mother, he still asked her how was her day, and he was joyous. He looked and seemed to me like a man who had it all. At least this is how he pretended to me. Maybe he wanted to be in the center of it all. Like when he told me the office story, so that everyone and everything depended on him. Maybe he thought of himself as the center of, of the world and he could not admit that my mother actually did not love him. My mother did not even coldly, did not even try much to hide her affair that she had sex with another man. I, I don't know, it probably would have brought, brought him down and whenever I would Listen to my mother's moans. I could hear them throughout the home. I could hear them day by day. I always asked myself, should I do something? Is this about me? And of course, maybe I, I could have done something. Maybe, I don't know. But I was still an observer. I still felt like that my mind, my brain was not developed enough. Somehow, somehow I was still gazing in 
to the world somehow I was still making sense of the world somehow I, I never really understood what was going on around me people and and their worries so why how could I have saved the marriage of my parents like I said they never separated they lived on and later on I heard that they died in both in a, a retirement facility they lived together so maybe it was all maybe maybe this was necessary that my mother did not run away despite the fact that Steve came over many many times and I even sometimes heard him talking about an idea to run off with her she would always stay mute maybe this some sort of helped her to handle her crazy I don't know I, re I read in the newspaper that people think that I'm a social prior that I that people did not know me because I would hide from the society I read in the newspaper some reporters asked some neighbors and they said all kinds of stuff of course some of them said that they knew right in the beginning who I was what I would do that I was a menace that I would be a menace to society some said that it was pretty much clear and even my teacher from school said that I that she pretty much knew that I would be trouble that I would that I would have an evil aura I don't know I don't know but being among people always felt normal for me I did not hide from society I did not stray from society I did not seclude myself I did not play hide and seek with society I didn't feel uncomfortable I didn't feel exposed naked not what all these newspapers reported that I would be some sort of a germaphobe that I would not feel comfortable being around people this is not case yet yet I understood I understood of course that people live for and with templates I understood that some people need references to order their life people who need to array their lives according to things they know they think they know and assume they know early on I understood that people make themselves or choose carefully their templates like their masks and these masks determine how they live how they want to pursue their life how they feel happiness joy people people don't want to walk astray from their comfort zone people always want to be near the center it is an illusion the separation between public and private it is an illusion that people assume that that we would have some sort of a private life which we would hide from from the public sphere it is pretty much useless talking about the separation of public and private if everyone is wearing a mask if everyone is hiding his true nature behind a mask in public as well as in in private it is not uh, that people want to know what what others are, are thinking it is not that people are curious what each other has in mind the thought processes what which border people believe me no one believe me no one really cares about what you think no people want to know people are 